Today on the 30-minute chart, two days ago, the market failed to break out of the bottom of the trading range. Yesterday, the market tested the bottom of that range before rallying into the close. Today opens roughly where yesterday closed. The bulls want to create follow-through buying to test the top of the trading range, whereas the bears want to create a wedge, three pushes up, and a double top near the top of the trading range to initiate shorts. Today's context for the open, today opens as a small gap down below the close of yesterday. The high of yesterday is likely resistance. Since yesterday ended in a bull climax, a bull bar on the daily chart closing on its high, today has a 75% chance of a trading range starting by the second hour. The first thing I ask during the open is, did the market open within the price action of yesterday? Today features a small gap down to just under the high of yesterday. When the market opens within the range of the prior day, the high, low, and close of that day are relevant levels for the current day. I often mention that most days in the market are trading range days, and that the easiest way to trade such days is to wait for the market to bounce off a price point, then wait for the market to return to that price point again and look for a signal bar. The advantage of starting with levels such as the high, low, and close of yesterday is that they give you reference points to refer to right from the open. One downside to trading the 5-minute chart compared to a lower time frame is that good signal bars to short typically only happen in wedge bear flags, whereas major reversals at strong resistance levels often produce big bear bars that are difficult to short below since your stop loss would be too far away. For example, bar 4 is a test of the high of yesterday. Bars 7 to 8 are the second test of the high of yesterday. One way to rectify this is to bet against a second test of a previously rejected level by shorting the close. For example, just shorting the close of bar 7 and using a fixed stop loss of 4 points and a fixed profit target of 4 points. This should only be done by trading a small size since it is a scalp and may require scaling in. I will discuss this more in a future video where I exclusively focus on how to scalp ranges. I personally would not short the close of the third test of the high of yesterday, bars 22 to 25, especially since bulls have defended the 20 EMA. By this point, the day's range is only 10 points, which I call kryptonite price action because most trades are a scalp at best and require perfect management for not a lot of money. In situations like this, I recommend marking the current high of the day and low of the day and setting alerts. Bar 50 is an exact test of the low of the day. If you've watched my best setup for beginners series, starting from January 24, 2024, you can begin looking for a low too short or a good signal bar at the 20 EMA for a test of the low, such as bar 57. Remember, the first break of a bear trend usually leads to a test of the low before any major trend reversal can happen. That test of the low can be a higher low, equal low, or lower low. When the bear trend is many bars, usually the test of the low will test the lowest close on the 5-minute chart before any major reversal, see how bar 63 reached the bar 49 close. However, the day's range is still only 10 points, and bar 50 did not breach the low of the day, so it's reasonable to not be looking at the chart at all. After a test of the low is made, you can go long above a good signal bar, such as bar 64, for an intraday swing trade. However, the day's range at this point is still only 10 points, so it's reasonable to not be trading at all.
Bar 66 is a breakout above the high of the day, but the follow-through bar 67 is bad. This is a sign the bulls are not enthusiastic for a breakout. Bar 70 is the second attempt to break above the prior high of the day, bar 25 high. Its follow-through is a doji, which is a hint that the bulls are not particularly strong. After follow-through, the market will either produce a breakout test within one to two bars or produce a big bull bar closing on its high indicating the bulls are strong. Bar 72 did not close on its high, so you cannot go long above it. Bar 73 is the start of a breakout test. By bar 76, a close below the high of yesterday, you should know the bull breakout has failed. On the higher time frame, the bulls see a bull flag. A trading range is a stronger flag than a pullback. The bears see a double top at the top of the trading range.